In this video, we're going to show you how to get the Raspberryan uh, uh, operating system on the Banana Pro to recognize the uh, SATA hard disk. Uh, when you, even though the SATA hard disk is physically uh, connected, until we uh, do these steps, we're not going to be able to have the operating system uh, recognize that hard drive. Um, and uh, basically, if we open up the um, under System Tools, File Manager, this these uh, file folders that show up initially are really only the folders that are on the micro SD card. You won't see any folders uh, related to the uh, hard disk. Okay, so what we need to do first of all, we need to install uh, a program called Gparted. That's G. P-A-R-T-E-D, and that allows you to format and partition and mount the um, um, SATA drive. And that's what needs to be done in order to get the operating system to recognize the drive. So uh, to install that package, we can go to uh, the uh, Synaptic Package Manager uh, program that we installed in a previous video. It's under other in that uh, directory. And then we have to uh, authenticate. So I'll type in the, the uh, root password. And this is the Synaptic Package Manager. OK, we well, need to give it a couple of seconds uh, for it to read all the packages. Now, um, what we can do is we can hit the search button <coughs> and type G P A R T E D and do a search. And uh, as you can see, we have the package uh, G parted. Now, when you bring this up for the first time, this box will be uh, white. Um, it's um, it's green because I've already installed the package. And if you click on this box, it'll give you a choice uh, to uh, uh, mark for installation here. Of course, it's grayed out in this uh, situation. Mark it for installation. And then you can use apply, this button up here labeled apply. And um, it will take you through the steps. Um, it also re uh, requires a couple of dependent files or, or packages. And um, you just go ahead and take the default and, and go ahead and install them as well. So OK, w once we have uh, Gparted installed, we can go ahead and close the Synaptic uh, Package Manager. And uh, Gparted is normally installed under Preferences. So as you can see, we have Gparted right here under Preferences. We click on that. Uh, we have to authenticate again as, a, as the uh, root user. OK, and we have Gparted running. Now, when it comes up for the first time, you're going to see uh, this. And this is actually the micro SD card uh, partitions. Uh, you won't uh, actually see the uh, external SATA drive unless you go to this and select devices. If you select devices, you should see something labeled slash DEV slash SDA. And if you click on that, that would give you the access to uh, do the necessary formatting and partitioning. And you can uh, select the formats. You can do this. It says Format 2. It's grayed out because it's already formatted. But uh, what it will give you is a selection of different types of uh, formatting, FAT, uh, e, uh, EXT, NFS. Um, and uh, what I like to do uh, in Linux systems is format it to EXT4. That's what what we currently have it set to. And um, uh, then you, you get to uh, uh, choose a mounting point for the partition. And uh, uh, the default mounting point uh, that some uh, Linux systems uh, do is uh, the directory MNT. And I, I, I like to choose that as well. So slash MNT would be the mounting point. And then it'll lead you through the necessary steps to actually do the formatting and partitioning and mounting. OK, 
so once we have that done, we have to uh, do a, change a, a, a file in, so that it always gets mounted, that we don't have to get remounted every time we reboot uh, the uh, Banana Pro. So the way you do that <coughs> is you open up uh, the uh, a terminal window, and we have to edit a uh, a, a boot uh, file that um, you can find easily. Uh, first of all, we type sudo nano, and nano again is a text editor. If you uh, have a a preference for another type of text editor just go ahead and substitute that and then we type the uh, uh, direct, uh, full directory uh, and file name of the file we want to want to change it's uh, forward slash etc forward slash f s t a b and carries return we're going to be asked for the root password so we're going to type in that Okay, and this is the, uh, the the boot file that we need to change. Uh, it will current. It will uh, when you first do it. It's going to have two lines in here. That's one is this uh, mc uh, mmc blk zero p one and p two. Those are uh, the um, uh, fi uh, the, the the formatted partitioned and mounted parts of the micro SD card. So. Um, what what we need to do is add one line uh, after the existing lines uh, to mount uh, the uh, uh, the uh, SATA drive at boot up. Uh, we need to uh, type in the name of the drive, and in this case, it should be the same uh, if you have a single drive attached uh, as uh, so forward slash dev forward slash sda1, and a, then a, a tab. And then you need to type the uh, mounting point directory, in, in which case, in this case, it's forward slash MNT. And then uh, a couple of tabs. You need to type what format the uh, that SATA drive is in. And since we formatted into EXT4, we need to type EXT4 there. Another tab over. And then the rest of this, I'm not going to explain it, but basically it's setting permissions to access uh, the um, uh, say the drive and the the best one to do really is just do defaults that's plural and then zero and then zero and just you can do uh, tabs and spaces just to get them to neatly line up after you do, do that you need to uh, uh, exit save and exit and the way you do that is of course control uh, X it'll ask you do you want to save the buffer you say yes and uh, then it'll ask you the name of, that you want to save to. We, we choose the default, the uh, FSTAB, and, uh, and then it will exit. Um, I've already, I haven't changed anything, so it's going to just ex exit me right out when I do that. Okay, at this stage, we need to verify that we have uh, a mounting point that is going to come up every time we reboot. And so we, uh, we need to reboot the... Uh, uh, the Banana Pro. You can do it from the terminal if you want. Uh, it, it, the command is sudo reboot. Uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the other thing is is that they have a, 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 um, a button on the Banana Pro that you can press uh, to re reboot it. Okay, there's one other thing I probably should point out um, uh, to you is that when you bring up File Manager, let's bring that up here. You're not actually going to see the uh, the directory that has the mounting point. Uh, you got to add that uh, to the to it, and the way that you can do that is you can navigate to uh, the. Um, uh, I think it would go home. Actually, you can go this way to the root directory, and uh, you'll see MNT here. Uh, you can uh, uh, right click on this and add to bookmarks it will do it so we basically need to go to the all the way up to the root directory 
you'll see the mounting point dire uh, directory here. You right mouse click it and then um, do add bookmark. So when you do that, it's going to add a bookmark that is a direct uh, link to that directory over on the left side of the manager. Just a little tip to, to uh, allow you to get to the hard disk uh, fairly quickly. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and um, I'm going to continue to do uh, videos about the Banana Pro. Uh, at, at this stage you have a, 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 a fully uh, capable Raspberry operating system uh, on the the Banana Pro, and um, uh, so I probably won't go any further on the on the Raspberry uh, part of this uh, these series of videos. But I am going to uh, uh, probably do videos on uh, the, some of the other operating systems that are available for this computer. Okay, and uh, thanks for watching.